Hey what's up guys, welcome back to Automation. Today I'm going to be trying to make the cheapest sports car imaginable, but first I have a few ground rules that I'm going to go over, which may increase the price, but it really needs it to be considered a sports car. So first of all, I cannot use the three-cylinder engine. Well, what's a sports car with a three-cylinder other than the GR Yaris? I have no clue how Toyota did that. It has to be a minimum of 1.5 liters, so no like one liter whatever. It has to re be rear-wheel drive. It has to be two door i want to aim for a 300 horsepower or so and be sub 3,000 pounds now i don't know what i was gonna base this off of uh, i was thinking about basing it off of like the the 350z or like uh maybe a may, maybe like a uh well, just the s2000 body here but <laughs> I think I think this would be good. It, it looks like it's based off of the S2000 or the NC or ND Miata. No, this is definitely off the ND Miata. So it looks like steel could be the cheapest here, but aluminum would be lighter. Like the tooling cost is a lot higher material. I'm just gonna shove that on aluminum for now. It looks like ladder frame is the cheapest. Let's just do steel here. We'll do um, front longitudinal, front suspension. So it looks like we might have to do solid axle coil in the front. Doesn't say anything about the about the price, but I'm gonna just do all around solid axle coils. And that lifted this thing the hell up. I have no clue why it's doing that, but quality goes all the way down to save money. Create a new engine. I don't know what to name it yet, but I think we are just gonna do an inline four since this was based off of the S2000 or ND Miata. So I think it's just gonna be cast. I think we're gonna be able to put out a lot of horsepower. I'm gonna do an overhead cam system with two valves, make that cast iron. Quality goes down. So the crank will make that just, so somehow cast iron that is more expensive. Maybe I might have to go back and check some of this stuff. It's like lightweight forge is uh cheapest here probably for a good reason this thing probably won't start it went the strongest or the most powerful but at the cheapest price so i think that's forged i think we'll not put a harmonic balancer on it for now quality down of course let's leave that for now but we'll yeah uh whatever just quality goes down I feel like injection would be lighter we'll do like single point efi intake we'll do performance mid yeah that looks terrible wait we, we want this thing to be cheap but we don't want it to be super cheap yeah mechanical fuel injection that's not how it goes carburetor it's about the same so i think we got to the point where fuel injection is good enough i'm sure this thing isn't gonna weigh too much anyways uh sure 2a no could do no but I want this thing to be somewhat street legal yeah baffled good enough okay so we're this thing is blowing up somewhere failure due to valve float all right so we just have a harmon we're gonna need a harmonic dampener or this thing's just gonna throw the bottom end out of whack and we don't really want that but looks like the max rpm we can do now is 65 6400 rpm i think maybe if we just Put the quality up a little bit maybe no we'll do we'll do negative 10 on the quality that sounds good to me um i don't think this here does anything so we'll just lower that fueling i think a larger manifold actually makes this thing lose power so that's not good but this engine only costs 700 dollars as of now so that's good it has a lot of emissions not fuel efficient it needs cooling not very smooth performs well it's a little bit heavy changes to lightweight forged pistons maybe so that we can bump up the rpm a little bit no 60 6900 rpm is good for me all right so i think we're gonna have to go turbocharger on this thing uh, until it blows up due to valve flow all right this this engine did not really want to tune well but i added it or i changed it so it only cost 1200 bucks that's not too bad weighs 380 pounds not too bad uh, as you can see everything here is basically the same quality is all the way down here change some of the things here the quality is now zero here so it's just good i guess change compression cam profile rpm limit stuff like that i'm pretty sure if i put rpm limit up i can okay all right start to have problems so 7,000 sounds good to me i was screwing around with the the turbo and stuff and quality is now negative nine because i believe uh, i was trying to see how much horsepower we could get but it's like like if we put this all the way down it's about five dollars more and we get uh and we lose seven horsepower so i i think that's worth it in the long run uh this is what this looks 
looks like. Everything is basically the same. I'm not changing it too much. Uh, manifold size smaller. The the compact headers are actually all these cost the exact same. It's just the some are a little bit lighter. Most of the stuff here is the same. I haven't changed the aesthetics yet. Whatever. I think I'm just gonna leave how it is, and we'll see how this runs. It sounds terrible, but. So the flow is a little bit off, but we don't have any stress on anything. So I'm just going to do this right here and we'll make this thing, uh, make this thing a nice, a nice blue maybe. All right. And now I'm going to, uh, design this thing. <laughs> I just realized this thing looks like the, that nerd emoji meme. So this car is very bare bones. I made the front end kind of look similar to a Miata. I mean, it is the Miata grill. Put an intercooler back there. Not my greatest light placement, I must say, but honestly, it looks all right. I remembered uh, wipers. So this is my first time actually trying to make an interior in this game. Now, I don't know how to actually move the camera properly, but I do have an like a old, old dash in there. I'll show the interior when I'm on BMNG, but kind of older style Miata wheels, whatever. I uh, just said double tip exhaust you got the nerd face in the rear but we'll move on a drivetrain so it's just gonna be a rear wheel drive manual five speed top speed of maybe like 200 kilometers an hour open diff all the other way down i guess uh we'll do radial medium compound tires do 205 rear 195 front do a little bit of offset just so it doesn't look terrible. I mean, I still need to lower this thing a ton because it's like a monster truck right now. Like, like you, you may as well just bring this thing to Monster Jam. That's just how tall it is. We'll do a two-piston solid disc in the front and just a one-piston solid disc. No, we'll do drums in the rear. No under tray, no nothing like that. Cooling brake, brake airflow. We'll give that like five. Cooling, that's eh, whatever. Deta detachable hardtop, two-seater, basic interior nothing we'll just give it a hydraulic ball i guess maybe we won't rack and pinions better no traction aids probably will need them but who cares i'll just do standard 20s make this thing light as hell unless that lighter higher higher material costs we won't do that okay so do twin tube uh just passive i guess sport right the ride height mm, might have to go double wishbone just so we can get this thing lower don't need it that low we'll give it we'll give it some goofy fitment just from the factory but other people can do that uh, apparently this thing has a oversteering issue there we go we're sub three thousand pounds we did up the material costs though that kind of sucks I'm actually surprised this thing actually tr weighs that much i don't know why it would so this thing creates lift that's fun so i don't think any and any markets are warming up to this thing but i don't really care at all so i'm gonna call this thing the nasda nx6 the b stands for budget i'm gonna do i'm gonna call it the the the, the bs which is, stands for budget sport budget sport roadster md2 um turbo yeah so yeah i'll get this thing off to uh put it off to beam and i'll see you guys on there so here's the uh, nx6 next to the d series right here so um it, it, it's small Yes, it is that because it's a Miata. Got the interior. It's not perfect. There's a little bit of a, a little bit of a gap in between the uh, interior and the um, and that, but I couldn't see that well, so not a huge deal. I don't think so. So this thing does have no traction aids, and it has a lot of turbo lag, surprisingly, for what is this. But yeah, you can see the uh, oversteer issue. This thing is not fast by any means. It also spits flames, oddly enough. Can it do donuts? Kind of, because it's open diff. Anyways, we'll do long race circuit one, which, which is the one that I always do. So hopefully this actually has gets a reasonable time instead of just completely failing. Heal off the start. Pretty sure, surprisingly, 10-inch brakes are a little bit too big for this thing. A little bit of the sideways action through there. Oversteer is not 
too bad, which is good. I'm being very conservative through these corners, but you can just drift this thing if you really wanted to. Okay, let's get this thing up to like 100, 120 miles per hour on the straight section. Yeah, this thing has strong brakes for what it is. And I spun out. Fuck! Alright, I don't really care, I don't want to do that again, so I'm just gonna whip it around. That 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 downhill S-curve is always really hard for cars, so I'm not surprised that this thing wasn't able to do it, but put it sideways, grind the gears. So, sub 240, but yeah, you can see all the other cars there. I think these are all performance cars, so... But honestly, that's relatively okay for what I'm gonna say. I wanna say that the, um, V6 Civic did, like, 220 or something. Anyways, I think that's gonna be all for this video. Uh, I think the next automation video is going to be making the most expensive hypercar ever, or at least what I can do in automation. That video might come after the supercharger update, which I don't know if you saw it on the uh, on the home screen but there's a super treasure update coming but i might wait till then but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video